right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing, to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, He's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. All right, here he is for my money. Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Three years apart, with the same height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 19 wins, 12 losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Alex Bruce Leroy Caceres. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spots. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Effective punch there by Choi. Nice defense there, huge block. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the counter. The slip and then the counter by Caceres. Use those legs. Use those legs. Punish him with the kick. Punish him with the kick. Nice punch by Shore. The combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop. Becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus in his opponent. 
Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Hands higher, hands higher. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. <laughs> Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by Choi. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? There. Nice job by Caceres. Man, some of the best kicks in the game that you'll see right there. Oh, that's a good right hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Choi. Effective punch there by Caceres. Man! Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Nice one, two there. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. Landing him upside his opponent's head over and over again. Caceres' lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Misses with the right hand. Effective strike there by Caceres. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Ooh. Unable to connect there. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. 15 seconds. Ten, six, go. Round one winding down here. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Second round, straight ahead. Well, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round, both landed, multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. Ready? His strong Ready? leg packs so Fight. much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Whiffs on that offering. And he landed the right hand there. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Big and kick. Oh man, head kick lands. Big power. 
ball from Clutch Land. Now he gets back to range. Nice counter right hook there. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Let's get him down. Able to check that kick as well. Just missed with the left there. He's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Nice punch there by Caceres. Slips the punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Come on, man. Into that leg kick. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Big leg kick lands. the output here so aggressive with the strikes he continues to light him up got to be careful here not to gas out of course but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him especially in this round oh and he gets tagged beautiful combination there and i'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take honestly the night is almost over if you keep getting hit with punches like this you are going to sleep All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. 
Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Oh, nice jab. Nice punch there by Caceres, man. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Big kick land. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing his strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Able to land there with the straight left. Just misses with a left hook there. He blocks the punch. Connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Back and forth we go here. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. with that right hand. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. Wild swing there. Punches block. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Caceres. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. So take your face. Hands up. Go back up. Push forward. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. But that shot blocked by Caceres, man. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Oh, just misses with the kick. 15 seconds to go. He loaded up with that right hand, too. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Short. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. 
Watch, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Back and forth we go. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Straight punch lands. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick and then you're in a lot of trouble. Watch the strike. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. What a punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Caceres gets tattooed by that straight punch. Just a slip there. Nice one-two combination there. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut of his eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just gonna be one head snapping back. It's gonna be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Nice strike landed there by Caceres. Spinning back fist. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. good shots you hate to be overly critical but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight well the jab has been looking great how about jab jab right hand right because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause i believe the jab has been working so well if he drops a big right hand after it he may be able to finish his fight we need to take down now. oh nice punch there by caceres Superman punch now. Under one minute now to go in round four. Oh, how clean is that jab by Choi? Right hand on point. Oh, 
combination lands, you want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Caceres. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, next round is underway here, and clearly these guys put in the right work during training camp when it comes to the cardio. You can tell that cardio and conditioning was the focus of both of these gentlemen as they prepare for this fight. You'll be first. Strike first. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Nice leg kick. That's a big strike right there. Choi's inner thigh, a deep shade of purple at this point. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Trying to establish that jab once again. Lands with the right hand. Oh, combination lands, and it seems like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Nicely done there to keep his hands up and block that strike. He's got to protect that cut if he wants to keep the doctor out. Of it. He's got to protect the cut, John, but he's also got to be very aware because if he's got a smart opponent, opponent's going to start finding the body now because he knows the hands are really high to try to protect that cut. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Beautiful strike. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, blocks the shot. Nice kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. How about that chin? Oh, what a punch. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Joy gets stung by that leg kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Just out of range with the big right hand. with a right. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, he's a struggle. second well he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots the chin is tucked the hands are high pretty good job defensively thus far great job defensively he's seeing everything coming you don't know when that leg kick's coming 
Oh, nice punch there by Caceres. Man! Right hand is there for Bruce Leroy. Choice kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. And that left hook landed on the button. He's throwing these punches in combination. Really dictate the face of his opponent. Seconds now to go in the floor. As effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got to hurt very bad. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here? Oh! Oh, he might be out. What a fight! So the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. decision is now in here is Bruce Buff ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision all three judges score the contest 49 46 for the winner by unanimous decision the Korean Super Bowl do ho Chong. All right, so there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. He should be very proud of his performance tonight.